You've had this idea for a while now. Isn't it about time you turn it into a business or is it a bad idea? Should you go after the thing you've been wanting to do? When is it the right time to turn your idea into a business and can it be profitable? You might have many of these questions floating around in your brain. So today we're just going to quickly touch on this subject and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions to help you out in a really coaching way and give you some examples so you can figure out if you want to turn your idea into a business or maybe you're already a business owner and you want to figure out if your new idea needs to be an extra new business. Hello, hello and welcome to Play to Win, the show where we turn your passion into profits so you can live life on your own terms. I'm Amy van der Putter from Fast Forward Amy, your host and coach, and I'll bring you a new episode with simple strategies every Tuesday. First and foremost, my question to you is, are you really, really, really passionate about this idea? Because sometimes I'm somewhere and then someone tells me, oh yeah, entrepreneurship. I would also like to be an entrepreneur. I just don't know about what. And then I'm like, mm, this could be the thing, uh, but... I personally feel like, I mean, it's this is not the case for everyone, but for me, it's really important that I actually feel passionate about the topic. So for me, it's I love entrepreneurship in itself, but I wouldn't love it as much if I have to practice a topic or something that I don't love. So for example, I could start a web shop with golden pins and I would love it because I use golden pins all the time. I'm currently writing with a golden pen. Uh, I could make a web shop about sex toys because why not? But I wouldn't be able to coach or to to make courses about a topic that doesn't interest me. For me, working from passion, entrepreneurship and running a business from passion is really, really important. So that's my first question to you. Are you really, really passionate about this idea? For me, what tends to happen is I get this really crazy new idea and I'm like, hmm. I should turn this into a business. And then I'm like, you know what, Amy, you've had this vibe for a, a couple of times. Maybe you don't actually need a sex web shop. Um, why don't you sleep on it? <laughs> so for my character personally, it is important that I, I go for my visionary new ideas. Like next week I'm hosting an event and Tuesday I had this idea. Why aren't we giving out notebooks with a little quote on the notebook? Two days later, 200 notebooks have been ordered and designed. That is important for me, that I can go with my urges and fun ideas. But there's a difference between creating a tiny new little fun product versus starting an entirely new business. So make sure if you are a little bit of a visionary like I am and you tend to get these really, really wild wild ideas that you also see, are you passionate about it one day or more days? <laughs> Check one, are you passionate about your new idea? Check two. Will having this business bring you closer to the life you want? So maybe you are currently employed somewhere and you're thinking, mm, Amy, I have this idea and I really want to do this. Then my question to you is on a very rational or level, is this going to bring you closer to the life you want? Because for example, it could also be that you are saying, well, I actually really love my life and my work right now. I just feel like my environment keeps pushing me to have my own business. And that's why I kind of had have this idea, but I don't really really, really want to? Like, is it that someone is pushing you? Is it that you feel obliged to do it, but you actually really just love the position and the life you have? Then you know you also don't need to do this. Like, I have this with some of my team members. Some of my team members really, really love their jobs. And maybe sometimes their parents are like, why don't you do that yourself? But they are feeling really good in the position they're in. Not everyone wants to be a personal brand, for example. Not everyone wants to be in front of the camera, for example. Annalise is standing next to the camera, staring at the screen as I'm recording. She is, I think she loves slash is okay with sitting up all the cameras, but she would definitely prefer not to sit in front of the camera. Whereas me, moi, I hate sitting up the cameras. I want to throw the camera on the floor. But we did that last week already, so the previous camera broke. Wasn't me. <laughs> so there is a different camera now. <laughs> JK, JK, JK. So <laughs> just saying that, like, for, for example, for me, I grew up in this family of entrepreneurs. And for most people, it's the opposite. But it could be that you feel like you need to do it, but you don't necessarily want to. So then take a step back and think of, will this improve my life? How will this improve my life? Can I, you know, die at the end of my life and not have done this? 
Will it make it better or not? Because if you're perfectly satisfied the way it is right now, then that's fine. Just make sure that it's not fear of failure holding you back. Third question is, are you prepared to work really, really hard for this and go all in? Because this is kind of what I asked at the beginning of the episode. It's not easy. I'm gonna be honest with you, it is simple, but it is not easy. Uh, that's how I like to look at entrepreneurship. It's simple, but not easy. And well, this probably goes for every role in a company, on a company, being the boss and everything. Uh, and I hope my team won't hate it when I say this, but the amount of responsibility you carry is something no one who is not in that position can really imagine. So I think this is kind of like when you become a parent. When you're not a parent, you just don't know. I don't want to scare you off, but it is something that you need to be prepared to go all in on you need to be prepared that there is going to be a season where maybe and I mean this is going to be uh, not appreciated in the anti-hustle culture people but there it's just the truth that sometimes you're going to be working until very late or stressing about the fact that you have to pay taxes and you don't really know out of which invisible box of cash flow you need to pay the taxes from stuff like that like it's it's really gonna be like a baby you're gonna have a baby if you build a business or a new business. So are you prepared to go all in? Are you prepared to work hard for this? Because it's not going to be an overnight success. You're going to have to like chip away at it day in, day out, year after year. And last but not least, and this is a really big question. um, I'm going to just like phrase it as one question. Is there profit potential in your idea on the one side and in your audience? Because sometimes people start really stupid businesses i'm gonna be (laughs) super upfront about this sometimes people are like i made i want to make the cheapest product in the universe and i'm gonna sell it to people without money (laughs) i'm like well is this smart though i'm all for being a visionary and chasing your passion that's what we do here over at fast forward but you also have to be a little bit realistic is there profit potential in your idea and in your audience sometimes people will come up with this idea that's for 13 year olds who don't have credit cards and it's a product that their parents wouldn't want them to buy how are you going to sell that to these people like you do have to make sure that you can actually pay your bills from it otherwise it's not a business it's just a really expensive hobby so just have a look at those questions so if we kind of recap this the first question is Am I really, 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 really passionate about this? And that kind of goes along with the third question, which was actually, am I prepared to go hard for this and really go all in? The second question, just like trying to keep you focused here, is will having my business bring me closer to the life I want or do I actually really already love the life I have? By the way, spoiler alert, I do think in 95% of the cases, this is going to be the case that it's going to bring you closer to the life you want. But what do I know? And last but not least, is there profit potential in your idea on the one hand and your audience on the other hand? And if you don't know the question to or the answer to these questions, it's time that you actually sat down and started researching. So the world isn't built on great ideas. It's built on great actions. And that's really what we preach over here at the Phosphorus Academy. It's not about the perfect videos or the perfect audio or the perfect ideas and the theory. It's about, can you take action? Can you take one step forward and then another step forward? And this is what you need to do now with your idea. If you had the idea, now it's time to analyze if it's a good idea for yourself, for your life, for your finances. That all goes hand in hand. And then you can start making decisions. Which product comes first? What are you gonna start doing? When is it going to happen? Like if you get into that decision phase, make sure you tap into the W's. So also I did my hands with four fingers, like the W's. This is not a W, these are just four fingers I'm holding up in front of the camera. (laughs) What, when, who, where? Questions like those are going to help you out uh, when you're trying to define your idea. And last but not least, this is something I, I touched on. Why do I say last but not least often in episodes? That's okay. I'm being compassionate to myself because this is a studio day where I am so hot, my brain is fried. But this is also the first episode of the Play to Win podcast. So, you know, I had to do this. Uh, (laughs) I've also gotten over wanting to cancel podcast recordings. I'm like, I'll just do the podcast (laughs) because I want to win. And this is why this is the new and improved 
Play to Win podcast. Maybe you didn't see, but welcome to my new and improved podcast. It's all about winning in a fast forward way. Hope you love it. Please don't kill me. Um, <laughs> in um, episode 150 of the previous Fast Forward Amy show, which was the name of the Play to Win podcast before this episode, uh, I talked about what if you're multi-passionate in your business. And this is something I want to shout out to all the entrepreneurs out there. If you're anything like me, you have so many ideas and I just want to give you a little tip. (laughs) It's going to make your life infinitely better. Not every idea needs to be a business or a separate business. I don't have to start a notebook business. I can just offer notebooks to my clients in my coaching business. I don't have to start a sex web shop. I can just talk about web shop, uh, sex, sorry, as much as I want. <laughs> I make a lot of sex jokes in my personal brand. So it's not because you are passionate about it that it also has to be a business. At a certain point, my dad asked me if we could do something about driving rallies and turn that maybe into a course or something. And I thought about it and then I was like, you know what, I actually really don't want to because I would like to keep something as a hobby. And the hobby supports the power of my personal brand. It supports the message of playing to win because when we drive rallies, we play to win, we drive to win. But I don't have to turn that into a business as well. A hobby can also just stay a hobby. So make sure you make conscious decisions about is something a hobby, is it a passion, or do you want to turn it into a profitable business? Because it's, if it's not profitable, it's not a business, it's a hobby. And if you're super stoked now about starting your own business or growing the business you currently have into, you know, making a profit or turning a profit, how do you say that? Turning a profit, making a profit, turning a profit? Both. The copywriter, yell it, Megan, yell it. Both. Both. She's yeah. yelling it. Yeah, she's also almost fainting from the heat. Uh, <laughs> so um, you maybe you're in a phase where you need to get started. Maybe you're, maybe you're in a phase where you really want to go all in, but you're afraid of the financial side of things. Then I have really great news for you because this summer we are hosting a free summer school over at the Fast Forward Academy for all of our Belgian and Dutch potential coaches. If you've been listening for a while and you're like, I'd like to get coach I'd like to set some higher goals and make some more money and have some more joy from what I do then the summer school might be perfect for you we did this last year over 4,000 people joined it was an immense success so if you are ready to dare bigger and to go all in or you want us to help you to go all in because I know it can be really scary uh, then I would love to invite you to our business summer school where we're gonna you know Make sure that you can actually hit all of the goals you want in the upcoming year. So I would say come and join us. You can find the link through the description. That's fastforwardamy.com forward slash bus or business summer school because we made the wrong acronym. But it's been out there for a while now. So we're just going to stick with this. Uh, So you can find the link through the description. It's going to be in Dutch. No worries. I also have a ton of resources if you are English speaking because... Obviously, this is an English speaking podcast. So if you want to learn more about the fast forward way of working, if you are currently trying to hit your goals, but you want to and you want to sell more, but you don't really know where to get started, I would say go and check out our free resources. We have a bunch of trainings ready for you to help you grow your business. And you can find all of that through fastforwardamy.com forward slash free resources. So all of that is linked in the description, the business summer school. Hope to see you there as well as the free resources. Okay. I hope you have a really nice day and you play to win today. That means you don't focus on the negative. You focus on where you want to go instead of where you are at right now. You don't focus on problems. You focus on results. (laughs) 